Bien, lo habíamos dejado aquí, vamos a continuar, seguimos hablando con este hombre que nos va a contar toda la historia de su mujer, de la nuestra y que su mujer fue a buscarnos y no ha vuelto, no ha regresado Ahora te nos cuenta todo lo de la ola y, y todo esto, ¿vale? Nos da un mapa de las alcantarillas Y entonces tenemos que ver esta foto y salimos de aquí. Nos dirigimos al parque de los suicidas y usamos la linterna en la alcantarilla. Here goes. Vemos que hay casquillos de bala, vemos que hay sangre en la pared, venimos por aquí y nos encontramos con este montón de basura, le, le damos a usar y nos dirá que no lo puede separar más, entonces tenemos que utilizar la palanca. Y encontramos a la mujer del, del hombre con el que hemos estado hablando. Miramos su mano, vemos que tiene una, un USB, lo recogemos. Y vamos a hablar con, con Chris. Entonces se lo decimos que hemos encontrado a su mujer muerta. Entonces, aprovechando de que ha abierto el baúl, echamos un vistazo y recogemos una película para la cámara de foto. Utilizamos la película para la cámara de foto, pero nos dice que el, que, que el compartimento está roto, entonces utilizamos el diente con la cámara de foto y la arreglamos. Perfecto. Salimos aquí. Before leaving his house, he's gazing in Sarah's photo in silence, completely lost in thought. Maybe I should have lied about what happened to her. And the wood. Bien. Volvemos al al parque de los suicidas. por aquí, entrar por la trampilla utilizamos la linterna con este cuarto y utilizamos el cuadro este de mando ¿vale? salimos de aquí volvemos a esta parte y utilizamos la cámara con el almacén de combustible ya tenemos la foto que nos pidió el cazador así que, que vamos a ir a hablar con él así que volvemos al campo de refugiados vamos al bar y le damos la foto al cazador 
I brought what we agreed. And and you you are you and but who I have you I'll give the book to the search. Entonces le pedimos que unos soldados se sirvan a una amiga y que, que se hagan cargo del cuerpo, ¿vale? Le pedimos también el generador, pero no va a decir que no. Así que nos lo tendremos, la tendremos que apañar para encontrar un generador para que funcione el portátil. Vamos a la caravana. What's that noise? Why is everyone fleeing? What's going on? The cleanup brigades are coming. And they're heading for Rod's trailer. God damn it! The hunters turned them in! That animal turns Colin and his family in! No, he's not sick. It's a mistake. Don't take him away. It's all a misunderstanding. It's just a question of minutes before those bastards break into the trailer and take the boy. Nosotros venimos aquí a la ventana. Utilizamos la palanca con el cristal. Entramos en la habitación. Miramos la caja de galletas y recogemos una pistola. Michael. Yes, Colin. Hablamos con el niño. Nos dirá que vea nuestra mujer. Que todo está conectado. Ya vosotros lo vais leyendo y os vais entrando mejor, ¿vale? change all this I have to find it now I don't think I can stand it any longer I don't think anyone can Bien. vamos a ir a hablar con el cazador hey dude back already we know and what Ahora vamos a ver a Rose que nos pidió que la rescatara y le vamos a dar la pistola. Hello, Mr. Sleepyhead. Have you come to help us? I don't know whether who I was before the great wave entitles me to make any kind of moral judgments. But what I do know is that the hunter and his men are a real cancer on this new world, which is the only thing that really counts right now. The girl has a right to defend herself, that bastard said. So someone should give her the chance to do that. It's only fair, right? I can't get you out of here, Rose. I'm sorry. You're the only one that can do it. Thank you. As she was picking up the revolver, she gave me a look of determination that I didn't know she had in her. Rose acted so quickly that I barely saw what happened through the crack in the door of her van. Her hand was steady, even when the second man begged for his life, sobbing and groveling on the floor. The bullet went right through his heart. Blood splattered all over her white dress. And 
then she let the revolver drop and sat down, lost in her own world. And she didn't do or say anything else, holed up in her tiny, delirious inner landscape. There she had everything she could ever need, safe at last from the new world, which she will probably never return to. Bien. Recogemos las monedas de aquí. Vamos a nuestro piso. Aquí. Y usamos las monedas con la viga. Let's see. It'll be salir de aquí y tenemos que venir al centro médico otra vez que se me olvidó recoger antes una bolsa y ahora me acabo de acordar que la necesitamos en que tenemos que volver tenemos que ir donde... Aquí, ¿vale? Esta bolsa negra la tenemos que recoger. Que se me olvidó antes. Ahora sí, volvemos a salir de aquí. Salimos. Vamos donde... Donde Rose. ¿Vale? Donde los mafiosos. Ya nos vamos a colocar aquí con nuestra bolsa negra en la mano y vamos a esperar que haya un déjà vu. No, vale, claro. Primero tenemos que mirar el generador. No. The water. Why would I want? Bien, ahora viene el Dayavi. What the hell? Another one of those. No, Rose. No, don't do it. No, it's Rose. But there's something. It feels. The ten thousand years of fire. It's incredible. But the generator. Nos dirá que no nos da tiempo. Así que ahora sí. Esperamos con nuestra bolsa en la mano. Y esperamos otra vez al de Yavi. Usamos la bolsa en el generador y usamos no. también Rose. la tela de la pantalla que hemos quitado no. en nuestro no. piso en el generador también. No. Evitamos que el generador se moje. Por lo tanto, ahora sí seguirá funcionando. Y okay. lo recogemos. Y ya solamente nos queda ahí a casa de Chris. Y con esto se acabará el juego. Si no recuerdo mal. Le damos al generador a Chris. I brought the generator you need, Chris. Give me. While Chris was getting everything ready, I was. My mind had been trying to make sense of the last few hours of my life for what seemed like an eternity. The first hours following my bitter birth in this new world. But how? 
could I judge the new world if I could barely remember the old one? The only thing I was sure of was that we had lost something very valuable along the way. The photograph of our life, overnight, had turned into a dark, blurry, sepia-tinted image. All of civilization had drowned under the great wave, and the only thing left on the beach were its remains. But no, I was fooling myself. I was already lost before the catastrophe. To tell the truth, all the other victims of the great wave have been luckier than me. They still dreamed of returning to their lives. Mine had already been broken a long time ago. Did I really stand a chance of recovering something I'd already lost forever? What type of strength, what type of miracle could ever give me that second chance? Michael, wake up! What's happening? The re- It's a- I- How- Oh, it- Where- Am- Up to now, and according to the rules that governed our universe, we were all subject to certain very specific temporal rules. Past, present, and future. That's all there was to it. So, the first thing we'd find would be a photo of the person as a newborn. Then another on the person's sixth birthday. Then another in college, and so on. Then we'd see photos of the person's wedding, children, old age, death. All in logical, linear, chronological order. Since our universe is conceived along a single line that starts in the past, makes a stopover in the present, and then projects into the future. Do you follow me? Yes, of course I follow you. Well, imagine now that this entire temporal architecture crumbles, falls apart, dissolves. Imagine that something or someone has altered the foundations of our universe, changing the rules of the game, forever annihilating our idea of time. The concepts of past, present, and future. Well, I think you just lost me, Chris. Then let me continue with the metaphor of the photographs. Imagine now that a card dealer takes all these snapshots that sum up the life of this person, shuffles them, and places them in a stack in one spot on the card table. What would we have then? There would no longer be a chronological line, Michael. There would be no past, present, or future. Each of the individual events captured in these photographs, they would all be happening simultaneously, at the exact same point in time. And that point we would call... The dead synchronicity point! Exactly! Now our world is abandoning its old physical laws and getting closer to that dead synchronicity point where time no longer exists. And therefore, all the phenomena and events that happened or will happen in the universe will start to be stacked on top of other ones, like the photographs in the dealer's deck. That sounds crazy. How complete and the little top and what come on do you bueno, still pues not see final, it? the real origin ya, ¿vale? of the great wave que the espero que os haya servido si estabais atascado en alguna parte de este juego y nada vamos a terminar de hablar con, con este so the... para terminar de explicar la historia y ya te digo que sí que se acaba aquí así que eso que espero que os haya servido y nos vemos en el siguiente juego vale I can't. Of the You're telling me that the dead synchronicity point is the origin of all this chaos? That our only chance of salvation is a theoretical journey to the past? Or sooner or later we'll all be obliterated? Like those poor dissolved? That's right, Michael. So we'd better get to work on it as soon as possible. By the way, the report also mentions another very interesting thing about the dissolved. What is it? It seems that in their trances, through their trips to the underground highways, the sick form a strange relationship with each other. It's as if the disease unites them, regardless of any physical distance that might separate them. The report is very unclear on this point, but it seems as if the dissolved are somehow linked, connected. My God. That can't be. Remember, please, remember. Everything fits now. Everything makes sense. Please, enough. My head. Emily asked me to tell you that we're connected, Michael. We're connected. Michael, what's going on?
going on? Chris, get one of those tests ready, fast. But what for? You don't think that you're also? Do as I say. Okay, give me your hand. It's positive. Michael, you're sick. You're a dissolved. No, that can't be. No. No. Michael, Michael, wake up. Emily, Emily, is it you? Please, Michael, wake up. Wake up. Is that really you? Where, where am I? Yes, Michael. It's me. You are on the underground highway. 